All right, I just found this and I wanted to run it. Um, I've seen this in several different forums, each one calling a different number of uh, GOP top lawyers. Um, in this source from the MSN quoting the Hill, it says two lawyers. Another one had said four. And these are top GOP lawmakers and 121 other GOP operatives and former elected officials urging the RNC to immediately divert from Trump. They are really starting to, you know, their pants. So this is what's really going on. So this is where we are in the real world. Uh, this one's claiming two top GOP lawmakers have joined a group called um, of the Never Trump Republicans urging the RNC to cut Donald Trump loose and focus instead on protecting the Republican majorities in the House and Senate. Rep. Scott Riggle, R of VA, and Reed Ribble, R of Wisconsin, have signed a letter of 121 other GOP operatives and former elected officials urging the RNC to divert resources away from the, the top of the ticket given the catastrophic impact Donald Trump is losing presidential campaign will uh, have on down-ballot Senate and House races. We urge that you immediately suspend all Discretionary RNC support for Trump and focus entirely on RNC's available resources preserving GOP's congressional majorities. A draft letter said Regal has publicly stated his support for the Libertarian candidate Johnson, uh, while Ribble said he's considering voting lib for the Libertarian ticket as well. Um, this is just how they're going to split the, the House and Senate. Basically, right now, they're worried that... Um, in the end, Donald's going to lose, and it's going to weigh heavily on the uh, congressional majorities. So they want him to basically split the remaining funds that are available to the House and the Senate. Uh, and basically, it says that the RNC has denied several reports of Chairman Rince Priebus uh, has warned Trump to get his act together or risk losing support for the National Party and says it is not considering abandoning the nominee at this point. Trump and the RNC have a joint fundraising agreement in place, although last week Trump uh, mused about the RNC would suffer if it cuts ties with him because he'd stop raising money for the National Party. Uh, it claimed that Trump raised more than $80 million last month, but has been slow to spend it over-reliant on the RNC for staffing in battleground states and has not yet invested any money in television airwaves. And personally, I don't think he needs to. Uh, but if the polls continue moving in the Democratic nominees Clinton direction, and today they just showed that there was a bunch of... All right, uh, today or yesterday they also put out a couple of polls which said that Trump is uh, the main contender in almost all military families and... Uh, gaining support in most, if not all, the uh, police families. So anybody that says he's right now at a losing streak with Hillary Clinton is probably not considering anything major. And he, this has come from MSN, so it's obviously pulling for Hillary Clinton's direction. And it says the race could reach a point where conservative donors begin earmarking uh, money for House and Senate races, and the party's overreaching message becomes about electing GOP Congress to hold Clinton accountability in the White House, and I think that's what it's actually going to be coming to. I think that's exactly where this is going to start um, moving money over to the Senate and the House races uh, and start overarching message to uh, elect uh, GOP Congress to hold Clinton accountable in the White House. Uh, so that's what I think is going to probably end up happening. So again, top GOP lawmakers and 121 other GOP operatives and former elected officials urging the RNC to divert from Trump. Use all necessary and available funds to start funding the uh, GOP House and Senate uh, groups to hold a House and Senate GOP leadership so that they can start holding uh, Hillary 
accountable if and when she gets into office and to now start from uh, diverting from Trump. So this looks like it's actually necessary, at least in the larger scheme of things. Also, I think Trump has basically has it as far as what needs to be done. So I think they do need to start focusing on the uh, Congress. Thank you.